my pleasure to introduce our new head football coach, Matt Campbell. You know, this is a place that's different than a lot of places that I've been. It's got great people. It's all about the players. It's not about Matt Campbell. It's about our players. I walked in to Toledo seven years ago as an assistant at the offensive coordinator, and we inherited a three and nine football team. And in seven years, we flipped it from three and nine to nine and two. And we did it because our players trusted into the process that it takes to be elite. In life, change is inevitable. Change happens. But greatness is a choice. I do think we've made incredible progress from when we came in here to where we're at. And, you know, I, I, those things about record and scores are, are, are all, again, I get it. I understand that's what we're measured by, but the reality for me is where we were and where we're at today. And to be honest with you, I saw our football team for 12 weeks compete. I saw us continue to get better week in and week out. Um, the only little disappointment on my end is that we didn't play you know, better in terms of detail. Now, I think the reality for us is we played catch up for a long time. You know, this the months of December, January, February, March, April, May, June. And it's like I told our kids right now, there's no more catch up. We gotta come back with a purpose ready to rock and roll. And you know, it starts on Monday and in the future of our football program. But now we gotta go to work and we gotta get those things done. And um, great challenges lay ahead for ourselves in this football program. Okay. What you guys that have grinded it out, have stuck it out, have believed it out, you fell in love with the process. And the process is now loving you back. And if you want to continue on this journey, I'm telling you it's a dark, lonely road. You see all this around you and everybody wants to buy in. They want to buy the stock now, right? They want to jump in. They want to be a part of it. But you got to shove it away. It's a dark, lonely road if I told you. If you want to stand on that platform at the end of this and the confetti comes down and you stayed the course, it's really hard to do. Montgomery touchdown. His second touchdown tonight. Montgomery gets 47 yards on that drive. Now 80 yards and two touchdowns. Under pressure and it is almost intercepted. It is. Harvey switched numbers from seven to two. He just got six. To Lazard, and there's the record breaker. A first down for Iowa State. Career catch number 177. Lazard could have gone about anywhere. Such a highly decorated recruit out of Urbandale. He decided to stay home, and he has had a great cyclone career, and now it's just a matter of cementing his legacy, getting to a postseason. Throws it, picked off by Pat Moya, and he's going to waltz into the end zone. The captain, Kamari Cotton Moya, Iowa State's second defensive touchdown of the night. And the all-time leading receiver at Iowa State has the score. He's trying to make the man miss. He does. He's across the board. He's still on his feet. Broke the tackle. A fly for a face mask. He's still on his feet. Touchdown! David Montgomery just refused to go down. Lazard left side, leaping catch. Al Lazard, touchdown. Another touchdown reception for Al Lazard. Fires downfield to a wide open Marchie Murdoch. Touchdown, Iowa State. Marchie Murdoch wide open down the middle of the field. It's a cyclone touchdown. Delivers intercepted by Lanning at the 35 to the 30, 20, and going out of bounds at the 16 yard line is my neighbor, Joel Lanning with the pick. This just hasn't been Iowa State's night, particularly offensively. Three turnovers, just seven points on the board. Credit Texas, but we know this offense and this team is capable of more. That word is poise. I don't think we had elite poise tonight, and we needed <coughs> poise in some critical situations. Okay, you go back to that videotape, you're gonna watch it, and you're gonna say, damn. Okay, we're that close. And it's poise 
that's not allowing us to take that step. <coughs> okay? Now that's a lesson learned, okay, that has to be learned and it has to be exemplified. It starts with coaches, it goes down to the leadership, okay, and then it goes down to individual accountability. Poise is absolutely critical because I'm telling you, you're only going to continue to play in games like this. <coughs> We're a really good football team. When we play defense like we play defense tonight, I'm telling you, you'll play with anybody in the country. Now the Cyclones will be without their starting quarterback. He didn't even make the trip for this game. Matt Campbell told me he's known since the beginning of this week, even though it wasn't publicly announced until last night. That has given him plenty of time to prepare backup Kyle Kent. Therefore, the Cyclones will not be paring down the playbook today. Well, they find Murdoch at the right flat. He's across the 30, 25, 20. Murdoch on his feet to the 10, to the 5. Touchdown! Marchie Murdoch, 28 yards from Kyle Kempt. Quick throw, right side, caught by Trevor Ryan. Got a block from Lazar. Down the right sideline, Ryan. Still on his feet, 30, 20. Touchdown, Trevor Ryan. Off the throw from Kempt. Mayfield still scrambling. Now chased by Lanning and sacked. Kempt, he delivers down the left side. A leaping effort and a catch for the touchdown by Alan Lazar. Are you kidding me? Afternoon. There's that special ability, change direction, make another would-be tackler miss. And it's intercepted, Kamari Katloya, Luffy by Murdoch, and he will stroll into the end zone. Ryan way back, Ryan, oh, what a block! Ryan now is free, Ryan has a lane to run, Ryan is making a move at the 30, and Trevor Ryan is going to take it into the end zone! The end zone caught for a touchdown. Matthew Eaton's second touchdown grab today. Deck looking to Lazard for the easy score. Montgomery straight ahead, keeps his feet still going. He is still on his feet past midfield. Trying to oh. set up the screen, and the screen is intercepted. All the way to the house, Marcel Spears. Thank you very much. Welcome to Ames, Iowa for one of the biggest games in Iowa State history as the Cyclones rank for the first time in 12 years take on number four TCU in a battle for first place in the Big 12. Iowa State has been one of the biggest surprises in college football beat a top five team on the road for the first time in school history just three weeks ago knocking off the Sooners in Norman. Kemp with time into the end zone caught Touchdown, Matthew Eaton, and the clone strike first. Kept the throw, it delivers to the end zone. Leaping catch made for the touchdown. A keep the dream. One up and made the catch. Delivers left, intercepted by the Cyclones. Ryan Peavy on the interception. Fakes the handoff, wants to throw. He's going to be sacked by Jaquan Bailey. The ball's loose, and Iowa State's on it. It's a fumble, recovered by the Cyclones. Cyclones only sent two, and the pass is intercepted by Marcel Spears. Second interception in two weeks. He had the big pick six last week. How big is this? Touchdown! Are you kidding me? Alan Lazard caught that ball! 
It was thrown kind of behind him, but he hauled it in. Back to the left, stiff arm across the 20. A good cut inside the 10, inside the 5. Touchdown, David Montgomery. Off the right side, Montgomery. Touchdown, David Montgomery with his third rushing touchdown of the day. It's just unfortunate it would end this way. This is going to leave a hole in your heart if you're Iowa State. Or you can get a great night's sleep. You can come back tomorrow and be thankful that you play on a team that's got such a warrior's effort, that's got so many guys that are invested and willing when their number's called to be ready to play and say, damn it, I'm going to do everything in my power to put this thing done and do it the right way. You got two unbelievable opportunities left. You got a chance to go down in the history of this place as one of the best teams to ever play here. But you know what it'll be defined by? How you respond to this. You know what it'll be defined by? Your ability to go on the road for the next two games and have to play in uncomfortable environments. You know what it'll be defined by? Our character. And if that's what we got to bet on, then damn it, I can't wait to bet on it. Alan Lazard with the touchdown! Night one of the year, and Alan Lazard has become the all-time leading receiving yards player in Iowa State history. Oh, what a catch! Hakeem Butler caught it up against his shoulder and then breaks tackles and scores! Well, Peavy's on the tackle here. Does Peavy strip the ball out? It's still in Lovett's hands here, and he just pulls the ball out. That's Brian Peavy pulling the ball right out wow. from underneath him. Pulled it right out of his hand. Kempt floats one up for the end zone. Murdoch holds it in. Touchdown, Hakeem Butler. 20 to 19, K State in dramatic fashion makes it 10 straight wins against Iowa State. Again, for Iowa State football, you got to go up the rough side of the mountain. Nobody's going to give you anything. It's who we are and it's what it is. It's why you were able to go into Norman and win. And why you were able to beat TCU and win. But you look at what happened today and you got to look yourself in the mirror and say, damn, some lack of details allowed that team to put the ball in their court when it mattered most and win the football game. It will be the 59th edition of the Liberty Bowl from Memphis, Tennessee. Down the middle, wide open, a Keen Butler touchdown. A 52-yard strike from Kemp. And rushing, they get there. Is Jaquan Bailey. He's got the speed, he can run. And landing in the end zone for a touchdown. State defensive line. These guys have played a heck of a game so far. J.D. Wagoner. Pressure coming, and they got him. Sacked for the sixth time in this game. Throws it to the back of the end zone. Tipped and caught. Touchdown. <laughs> Lazard somehow came up with a ball. Okay. So, I love you. I couldn't be prouder of you, okay? And I'm really, really happy for you seniors because you are the reason why we're here. You're the reason why there's a trophy coming back, finally, yes, to sir. Air